Well, hello everybody. It's the beginning of the year and I'm thinking about my word for the year. And I know that there are a lot of people who do this, who choose a word for the year. And I've been doing it for the last few years and just found it incredibly helpful in giving me some focus. So I've thought quite carefully about what um, sort of word I want to have. Um, you know, what what's going on for me in my life at the moment? What are the things I want to focus on? What are the places of self-doubt where I need encouragement and help to stay on track? And I've basically come up with the word fly and it just seems really right for me. It links to lots of other things in my life. Uh, it's talking about wings, it's talking about freedom, it's talking about soaring and lifting and just um, lots of really good stuff that means something to me at the moment. So I'm in my journal here and I'm just doing a little background wash of watercolour um, onto which I'm going to make my page that's going to be the beginning of me looking at this word fly for the year ahead. And I'm going to come back to this page again and again and I might add things into it and I might um, annotate it in different ways as the year goes by but just for now I am making a base page and as you can see I'm using this lovely little tin of watercolours from Prima Marketing and this is the set called the Classics and uh, I love these colours. Um, I do have some of the other sets as well, which I also love, but you can't beat the classics for a good old multi-purpose palette that does everything you really want. So I'm just spreading some colour here and I'm um, not doing this in any very clever way. I'm thinking about meadows and skies and the sort of colours that you get in a spring when things are blossoming and blooming and growing. And that's kind of where I'm coming from with this theme. And I'm just adding a bit of blue in to make a slightly darker green at the bottom there. So that will do nicely, I think. And I'm using the journal from the Creative Journaling UK New Year kit. And it's got this lovely mixed media paper that takes the watercolour really well. It doesn't bleed through at all. Um, what I'll probably do, I've got my notes here from the kit about choosing a word and I'll probably come back once it's all dry and stick those there. But for now, that's going really nicely. Now I'm going to put some washi tape along the edge. This is just some from my stash I was given and I've no idea where it came from but I love it very much. And it's got birds on it. And little tiny butterflies so I'm just going to pop that along the bottom as a good way of edging the page and uh, then from the uh, the kit the new year kit from creative journaling UK has got two um, foiled washi tapes in it a gold one and a silver one and they're both on the theme of stars because the kit's about following your your guiding light for the new year so I'm just going to put this starry sky one across the top that's got this lovely gold foiling on uh, sorry silver foiling gold foiling ones on a black background with moons and stars and things so just popping that on there sorry if my head got in the way of the camera um there we go and that'll just make a nice edging at the top now I've got this little margin down the side, I'm just going to fill it in a tiny bit, just so that's coming closer to the edge of the page. And I'm using an aqua brush here as always, and those of you who've seen my videos before will know that I just love these things because they're so versatile and you can use them anywhere and the water's already in the brush. Um, I can leave a link below to my um, one of my Etsy shops where you can get these really cheaply so there we go that's all looking good and so I'm thinking about the word fly and I need to put the word somewhere on the page 
and I'm going to just use some stickers. Now I could outline the word very happily, but actually on this occasion, I'm just going to use these stickers, which I've had in my stash for ages from Kay and Company. I got them in a sale years ago and I've just been hoarding them because I love them because the letters have got these cute animals and butterflies and things. So this this F's got a little rabbit with a sunflower, which I really love. So I'm just going to pop that there. And then the L has got a flying bird, which is ideal. So let's see if I can get that off without tearing it. And the good thing about flies, it's a nice short word. So I'll be really thinking about how to use this word. Um, in in my life I'll be writing it in my diary and my planner and goodness knows where else and I know that um, if you follow Ali Edwards she's got a whole thing called one little word and you can get your word made up in lots of different ways into a necklace or sticky notes I think or goodness knows what but um, I tend to just use stuff I've got lying around and and then my own handwriting so there we go, fly going up the page, that's coming nicely. Now, one of the things that I always symbolise with the idea of fly is butterflies. In fact, that... So I've pulled a few... Oh, look, I've got some flowers as well. I've pulled a few butterflies out of my stash. And I'm just going to think about putting some on the page just to kind of illuminate things. I want this idea of flying up the page and uh, for me uh, I think of butterflies as quite fragile things and I, I identify with that at times but I also love the beauty and the freedom that they have and so I'm using those as a symbol I'm also thinking I might use these cardstock pieces and these are just things I've had lying around for ages. I'm sorry to say I don't actually know exactly where they came from. But I mean, I think those of us who are crafty hoarder types, and I definitely am, generally have a few things lying around. And it's once you've got a theme, it's quite easy to find things that fit with it. So that's coming along nicely there. And uh well, I'm feeling that's really too big to go there. I might put it right down here. That's better. So they're kind of flying up the page. Um, there we go. And that's coming together nicely. So once this paint's dried, what I'll then start to do, and I've glued all the pieces down, I'll then start to think about different words that the word fly inspires. And I was thinking about this in my other journal. and. I actually came up with a whole bunch of other words. Um, I'm doing a few different journals because I kind of take them around and have them in different places. So I did this page last week when I started to explore different words that I could have chosen. So I had saw and light and powerful and swoop and nest. And these were all words that were speaking to me about different stuff. And actually what the word that I realized was the root of all this was fly. And so that's what I settled on. And you can see I've got all the butterflies here. And so I'm now putting this whole idea, having chosen the word fly, into my New Year's journal. And I'll start to build a plan and a picture for where I'm going in the new year and, and using this word as a springboard. So I hope that gives you some ideas. And if you're doing a new year journal and you've got a word, then come over and join us on the Facebook group and I'll leave the link below and tell us how you're getting on. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.